Hello everyone, I am Radha Kumari Pani, Assistant Professor at VIT. So last class we have discussed about the phase transformation which is the part of metallurgical engineering. So today uh, we will going to discuss about the thermodynamics and kinetics which is the important part in material science. First, uh, what do you mean by thermodynamics? See, thermodynamics it is the combination of two words thermo and dynamics. Thermo means heat, okay, heat means temperature. And dynamics means motion, it is the nursing but motion of heat. Okay, how the heat is given to the system, how it is uh, respond to the heat. Okay, so in today's class, uh, we will be focused about the thermodynamics and I am sure uh, you have must have learned about the thermodynamics in your uh, plus two classes, but it is the most important topics. Uh, in material science, we have to understand what are the law of thermodynamics and what are the parameters of thermodynamics, okay. So, second, first uh, we will going to introduce about small top ever's, uh, we are taking some experiments, okay, to better understand about the what are the thermodynamics, how it is respond. First, uh, by taking, uh, let, uh, uh, we will taking one aluminum rod, this is one aluminum rod and we are going to heat about 500 degrees Celsius, okay, about 500 degrees Celsius, we are going to hit aluminum rod. Uh, first, it will some extend its length, see, first it is in this shape, Af uh, after hitting, it will going to expand like some length, it will going to expand, why, why it will expand? It can be because of two reasons, first, uh, due to uh, what, the vibration of atoms, the atoms, uh, aluminum rod, okay, aluminum atoms are there, in the rod aluminum atoms are there, by some heating, uh, the aluminum atom can go vibration, okay. Uh, so, first reason can be due to, uh, by the vibration of atom, it can expand or the second reason, uh, the concentration of vacancy, okay. First, it is a solid material, one solid material is there and the, all the aluminum atoms are packed, close packed. If you are heating the aluminum rod, then some atoms may go to bulk to surface area, okay. Like this is the uh, solid material and some aluminum atoms are closely packed, okay. If you are heating, if we are heating, then some aluminum metal can go from bulk to surface area. So, here in the bulk, some vacancy may create, okay. So, by uh, creating some vacancy, it may expand. Okay, it can be two reasons, one is vibration of atom and the second reason is the concentration of vacancies, okay. Again, uh, we will take some second experiment uh, to understand the what are the thermodynamics potential means. Uh, second, in the second example, let uh, we are taking some uh, elastomer, this is elastomer or rubber we can say. First, by the some stretching, the elastomer may expand. By uh, putting some uh, weight here, the elastomer is uh, extended up to this length, let x. Again, if we are hitting the elastomer, then the elastomer may contract to uh, PVR position, like to this position. This contraction may be uh, vibration of atoms or may be the second reason of the previous experiment, that is uh, what? A concentration of vacancy. So, why this is happened? Why after heating, the expanded strength uh, is contracting to previous length? Why? It can be two reasons, like some potential is there, that is, can be gives free energy or entropy. Uh, it is the thermodynamic parameter, gives free energy or entropy means some randomness, okay, some perturbation, we can say. So, these are the terms, uh, which is the reason behind after heating, why it is stretching, why it is contracting. So, in today's class, mainly we will be focusing only the thermodynamics parameters, what are the parameters are there or what is the potential, okay. Now, let some, uh, we will going to see some mechanical equilibrium, let some box is there, like uh, this is the rectangular box and first it is the in the position configuration, let us see one, okay. And uh, by shifting its configuration, we will see how its stability is changing according to the configuration, let in the y axis, uh, we are taking the potential energy which is directly proportional to the height of center of gravity, okay. The poten here the potential energy Pe is directly proportional 
to the height of center of gravity of rectangular box. Let in the C1 position it is the metastable state A. It is the potential energy is this much. Okay. Again, if you are tilting the uh, rectangular box to this side, to right side to the C2 configuration, it is the most unstable state. Why? Because the potential energy in B configuration is high. We can see. This is the potential energy of B configuration because here in the C2 configuration, we can see the rectangular box, the center of gravity is shifting to this to this position. So, the height of center of gravity is more, the potential energy is more. So, the stability is less and the unstability is more. Then, after shifting the, uh, let uh, till the rectangular box to C2 to C3 position and this position is the most stable position. Okay, we can see uh, the center of gravity is less, the stability is more. See, the potential energy here, it is in the minimum position. The less potential energy means it is in higher stable state. Why? Because the center of gravity, the height of center of gravity here, it is less among all the three configuration. So, here we can see how the stability, okay, how the stability changes according to their position to their height of center of gravity. We can see uh, in this graph. So, here it is the explanation of a previous experiment. Okay. Uh, uh, the e equilibrium refer is nothing but refer to the state. Means balance. Equilibrium means what? Equilibrium means in the all side the force is balanced. Okay. In let the C1, C2, C3. It is the three configuration. They are in equilibrium position. Means what? There is no change in configuration. Means there are no perturbation, no randomness, no disturbance. So, they are in equilibrium position. Here, the configuration C2 has the highest energy. Or the small perturbation of the system will take the downhill energy. Means, in C2, see, in C2 position, it is the highest unstable state. Why? Because the height of center of gravity is more. Now, the configuration C3 has the lowest point lowest center of gravity, so it is the most stable state. Same, uh, the, the metastable, uh, first the A configuration, it is called as metastable state, means it is not so highly stable, not so highly unstable. Okay, so uh, three kinds of equilibrium uh, is there with respect to their energy, stable state, metastable state or unstable state. Okay, unstable state means the energy is maximum, stable state means the energy is minimum, reciprocal. Stability means the energy is less, unstable means the energy is more. The energy means here it is potential energy. Okay, so now uh, we will discuss about the laws of thermodynamics. Uh, there are four laws, zeroth law, first order, second law, third law. Okay, first the zeroth law of thermodynamics what? It is nothing but it is the similar to the transitive property of your mathematics. Okay, if a is equilibrium with B and B is equilibrium with C, then A will be equilibrium with C. Here it is the same. Zeroth law state that if the two system, let A and B are equilibrium with each other. Equilibrium means no heat flows, no heat is gained or no heat is lost. If same, the B is equilibrium with C, then the A will be equilibrium with C. Now the second law is first law of thermodynamics, it is nothing but it explains about the conservation of energy. Let the system is there, one system is there and we are putting some heat, okay. The heat is gained to the system. Then what will happen? The internal energy of their system will going to increase. So the system, what will do? Will do some work to compensate the energy, okay. How much heat it is gained, it will compensate that energy in the form of work done. So here we are getting uh, one equation that is del u is equal to q minus w. Here it is u is internal energy and q is heat gain and w is work done. So for the small change, for the infinitesimal change, du we can write del q minus del w. Here, here also we can write q is equal to del u plus w. It is the first law of thermodynamic state, conservation of energy. How much? heat it is gained to a system, it will compensate by doing some work and some internal energy. Now, in the thermodynamic sign of Q and W is matter because uh, it is uh, in thermodynamic, uh, in numerical, 
okay in numerical it is most important uh, to know the what will be the sign magnitude will be same but but the sign will be changed in terms of q and w if let the one system is there if the system if gain some heat then q is positive okay if it is gain some heat then q will be positive let the system loses some heat let the system lose some heat then q the sign of the q will be negative sorry here it is will be negative if the system loses some heat then q will be negative same for w if the work done by the system then w will be positive if work done on the system then w will be negative means here it is uh, it's saying about the sign the magnitude will be same okay how much heat is gained or lost q will be same let uh, the system is uh, the gain some heat let 25 25 joule or 25 calorie if the system gains heat then it will be positive sign if the system in uh, loses some heat then it will be minus 25 joule the magnitude will be same only the sign will be changed now the second law of thermodynamic what the second law of thermodynamic it say about the entropy okay entropy is nothing but it is some randomness or some perturbation if the system is going to some perturbation or some disturbance then the entropy will be increased okay so what about the second law of thermodynamics all the natural process are spontaneous okay spontaneous means uh, there will be some uh, disturbance or there will be some in order so the entropy of a system will be increases for the spontaneous or irreversible irreversible means uh, the some work done is going to happen but the system will never change to its previous position reversible means it can be changed but irreversible means it cannot be changed okay the change will be for permanent so the uh, the entropy is defined by the equation that is del q reversible by t t here it is temperature and del uh, ds it is the function of state okay entropy is the function there is two function like a function of state or path function but your entropy will depend upon the state means initial state in final state not ab uh, about the path okay so the uh, for the second law of thermodynamics the entropy for the any spontaneous reaction of the natural process uh, the del s is negative and the ds uh, this is defined by the equation that is del q reversible by t now the third law of thermodynamics says the entropy of the perfect crystal is zero when the temperature of the crystal is at absolute zero kelvin when for a perfect let the perfect crystal is there where the temperature is at zero kelvin the entropy will be zero means the limiting del s at temperature zero kelvin it will be zero it is the fourth most important law of thermodynamics okay now uh, what is thermodynamic potential okay uh, we will going to discuss and how many uh, parameters are there in terms of thermodynamic potential uh, one can be your uh, what uh, internal energy heat or gibbs free energy or helmholtz energy and this is the parameters of uh, thermodynamics okay so uh, the thermodynamic potential is nothing but it is a scalar potential to represent the thermodynamic state of the system okay so now the thermodynamics uh, potential it can be four types like uh, one is internal energy that is u enthalpy h gibbs free energy or helmholtz free energy and there are state variables are there in thermodynamic pa parameters like pressure volume temperature okay entropy these are the state function and uh, the two terms uh, we have to remember one is intensive property what is extensive property intensive property means which is the independent of size let the so example is pressure and temperature it will not depend upon the size of matter okay so these two are intensive property what is the extensive property extensive property means it will be directly depends upon the amount of matter okay how the amount of matter is changing it will be depend so some example of extensive property is volume energy gibbs free energy helmholtz energy or the potential are going to depend on amount of matter so now the heat capacity okay the first parameter thermodynamic parameter we will going to discuss that is heat capacity first what is the heat capacity see heat capacity from the definition it says is nothing but is the amount of heat okay the amount of heat needed or required to raise 
by an unit amount of substance to increase unit in temperature. The um, unit amount of substance can measured in grams or mole and the unit in temperature means in degree Celsius or Kelvin, the unit. Okay, nothing but the heat capacity, how much heat it will be required to increase the temperature of a 1 gram substance or 1 mole substance. So, the heating means the addition of energy, it can be carried out at constant volume or constant pressure. So, there are two heat capacity, one is Cv and another one is Cp. Cv means the heat capacity at constant volume and Cp means the heat capacity at constant pressure. And the thermodynamic equation also will get the Cv is del E by del T at V or we can write Cv is del U by del T at constant volume and the thermodynamic equation Cp is del H by del T at constant pressure. In further classes, we will going to derive how the Cv is del U by del T and how the Cp is del H by del T. So, the heat capacity also it is an extensive property because it depends on the amount of matter. Okay. So, if the substance has more heat capacity means more heat is required to increase the temperature. So, uh, the heat capacity of water is more than the air. Uh, it is uh, the Cp of water is 29.07 joule per Kelvin per mole and another one the unit of heat capacity is joule per Kelvin per mole okay. or joule per degree Celsius per mole we can write. So, uh, uh, what? Huh? the Cp of water is high than the air. So, the, uh, that implies the oceans or the water will heat up slowly as compared to air, okay, because the heat capacity of water is more than the air. So, the heat, uh, the uh, water, for the heating, the water will be uh, required more temperature than the air, okay, that is, it is uh, telling that the implies the ocean will heat up slowly as compared to the atmosphere. So, in the next class, uh, we will going to discuss about the another parameter that is internal energy, okay, and how the relation about the how it is heat capacity will, uh, uh, what, relation about uh, in between the heat capacity, internal energy, entropy, the, the different type of uh, like parameters are there, we will going to discuss in the next class. Thank you so much.